Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls right here in Amsterdam. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Mark Townsend of Studio Technologies. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, very well, thank you. You have a couple exciting things behind me here we're going to speak on. What's new here at the show for you? Well, we're debuting our Model 5312 uh, audio base station and intercom engine designed to work with Dante. So it's got 12 channels of uh, Dante inputs, 12 channels of Dante receive, and it works with all our Dante enabled devices, belt packs, announcer consoles, and it's designed to uh, offer a way of producing party line interfaces uh, when coupled with our Dante audio intercom engine. And what's so special about these? What features are really standing out? Uh, it's the fact that it's rack mount, it's got a uh, five pin XLR for a headset, a gooseneck microphone. So it just means that uh, what we've seen a lot of customers wanting is something where they can do uh, remote production. So this will sit in the base station of a broadcaster. Uh, they will then perhaps use it with our audio engine to create party line interfaces over Dante and then they'll have our traditional or any, any Dante enabled device out in the field uh, with belt packs and announced consoles interfacing into that and we can create groups and party line interfaces which makes it very easy uh, when they're setting up a, a Dante infrastructure for the first time. Nice. And so as far as trends go, how have these products adapted with some of the trends you see out right now? We started to see a lot of people now uh, using broadcast products but in the corporate AV market uh, so we, we've got lots of customers using these now as, as I say this combination of the audio engine the model 5312 the uh, belt packs and they're using it in corporate AV uh, so that for, for, for streaming for live streaming if it's a big uh, corporate event uh, shareholder meeting whatever it might be but they're using the same production values as they're using in live broadcast sports which is where we're traditionally used uh, and uh, but they're using it perhaps in a smaller uh, OB vehicle but it's the same uh, rather than just broadcasting to a, a single YouTube channel they're actually using multi-camera uh, facilities with all the overlays logos transitions that you'd see in a normal uh, sports broadcast or broadcasts event. Is that your main target customer? It's becoming so. Our traditional customer base is broadcast sports, but we're now seeing a lot more people, for, as I say, from the corporate AV, from also theatres, uh, looking at our I I intercom products. And I think you have something here uh, on this other side you're going to demo for me. What What's that about? We've got, uh, we did a uh, a, a program or well, we supplied some uh, announcer consoles to a, a major American broadcaster who's going to be using them at uh, a big sporting event that's happening in Europe next summer and what they wanted to do was deploy the announcer consoles across different venues uh, and have a way for the support and technical personnel to monitor real time whether the uh, consoles were working uh, properly. So the idea is we've added to our ST controller, which is the uh, configuration utility that we supply with all the products. It, it's now got what we call venue view, and it's a feature that allows people to go online to create a pane for each of the uh, venues. So they'll be able to create a, a, a pane for the athletic stadium, for the swimming pool arena, and within that, they'll be able to show all the studio technologies panels that are being used remotely uh, all the real-time data that uh, the, the, the signal is valid so if, uh, if, a, if, if a user reports that there's an issue they can then look on the venue view they can see whether there's any issues to address they can see all the live audio metering and then they can if need be call up the configuration panel for each of those products and make any necessi necessary changes. But they're doing that from the main broadcast center rather th than having to go out to the venue itself and do the uh, on-site changes there. Nice, and is that something that's available currently now or is this coming in the future? It's currently available, it's on our website, it's on the download section. So it's the next version or the current version of ST Controller has that enabled and we're now rolling out all the firmware across all the different products 
so existing customers will just be able to download the latest firmware, upload it to the device, and they'll be able to see uh, all those features of Venue View. Very good. So for those of you that want to know more, please go to their website. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you.